What is going on, everybody? My name is Fernando Gonzalez, and welcome back to the third ever Mail Monday, guys. We're out here, guys, and we're uh, answering about three questions today. It's gonna be a quick, short video, but I have three questions to answer. Um, again, guys, if you guys want your questions answered, please, guys, leave your question in the comment section right now. Any question you guys want answered, no matter what it is, personal, if you need advice, whatever it is, guys, Leave your question right here. If you guys want a shout out, leave your question right here. If you guys just want to talk to me, leave your question right here in the comment section, guys. And you guys have up to a week, so if you guys can think of a question now, whenever you think of a question, go ahead and leave that question in, in the comment section. You can also follow me on my Instagram, Franklin Gonzalez YT. Send me a DM with your question. You can follow me on Twitter, Frank Gonzalez YT. Send me your question. You can follow me on Snapchat. Frank Gonzalez YT, send me your question, or you can send me a direct message through YouTube. I'll look at all my things, guys, and hopefully you guys can find your way to send me your guys' questions. No matter what it is, guys, I'm answering them. I'm a wide open book. Let's get right into these questions. First question from Mariano Ariaga. He says, what are your thoughts about benching and squatting every day? Well. I don't think you should do that. Those are two compound movements, and if you're gonna bench and squat every day, you're gonna see yourself pretty much overtraining, and you're not gonna make a lot of gains. Uh, you could bench and squat on the same day, but if I were to do it, I'd go like this. I'd bench and squat on Monday. I'd do back on Tuesday, and I'd rest a day or two, and I'd, redo, I'd do that again. You wouldn't be able to bench and squat every day. More, at the most, three times a week and that's pushing it. Um, but I suggest two times a week is the best way to do squats and bench. If you can do it on the same day, which I highly, if that's what you wanna do, you could do it, but there's better, more efficient ways to work out. Clashing with DG asks, Q and A for the video. What got you to join the gym? Furthermore, what message would you give the younger you if you were able to time travel? Okay. What got me to go to the gym I remember specifically one moment, somebody, and this is whack, somebody looked at my biceps and they said, I have no arms. That's the initial push that got me into the gym. But what kept me there was the feeling of, of satisfaction every time I'd work out. The feeling like of happiness every time I'd finish a workout. The feeling of every time like I'd go back to the gym, I saw improvement. That feeling is what kept me going. Um, I was never the most athletic person. But when I started going to the gym, I started to realize that I was able to do things that other people couldn't do. Like I could lift heavier, I could push more weight, deadlift more, squat more, bench more. Like being able to do that, it really helped with my self-confidence because before I started going to the gym, guys, I was I was like not confident. I, I, have, I had very low self-esteem. I, I didn't think very highly about myself at all. Like I thought I was a little piece of shit. Like I really thought I was whack. Like I, I thought I was nothing. Like I was just a speck. Like, there's no reason for anybody to like me as a person. Like you know what I mean? When I started going to the gym. That changed my mindset completely. I started thinking to myself like, hey, you can actually accomplish things. You're good enough to do stuff. You're good enough to be liked. And look at you. You're actually, you're actually dedicated enough to make gains and work hard and eat right and do all these type of things. So going to the gym completely changed my mindset. And that's what got me to join. I've actually been at Gold since I was in sixth grade. In sixth grade, I originally joined the gym because I was tired of being fat. And I was tired of being made fun of in sixth grade. So I went to the gym in hopes that I would get fit immediately and I'd get ripped and jacked. When you think about it, what type of sixth grader is gonna get ripped and jacked? So my mindset was all types of wrong when I first went to the gym. But obviously I took years off, started playing basketball, I got me into fitness a little bit more. Um, I wasn't never really great at basketball, but I'm rambling now, but but yeah, when I went back to the gym in about 11th or 10th grade, I think, that's when I stayed dedicated. I haven't stopped going since. So it's been like three, four years now like since I've gone consistently. Now, when I say I've gone to the gym consistently for four years, doesn't mean I had a proper training program. I had a proper training program probably like a year or two ago. That's why I actually started like training, like knowing exactly what I'm doing. So that's why I, I didn't make many gains my first few years. But now I'm on the proper training program. I know what I'm doing. I've learned so much. I've made many mistakes, but I'm back where I gotta be. Second question is, what message would you give the younger you if you were able to time travel? 
Now, this question is important to me because I know what I would tell my inner self immediately. I go back in time and I tell you, it's okay, it's okay. Life goes through, the, the pain you're feeling now is gonna be gone. I can't tell my younger self that like, it's gonna be okay right now, but it will be gone eventually, and you can look forward to a happier life in the future. Because despite the fact that right now, you might be like, wanting to end your life or stuff that, that way, you're gonna be okay. And I'm gonna tell that, look, I'm gonna tell look at me, you have a beard now, <laughs> and you're happy. I'll tell them that happiness is around the corner. All you gotta do is keep looking towards it and never lose hope. Never lose hope. N never stop working hard. Continue to play basketball. Don't let those words of discouragement get you down. Look towards the people who love you. Look towards your family. I would tell my younger self to go to my family and like actually start talking to them more, have more family time and start valuing different things and stop caring so much of what other people think about you. So that's about something in yourself, which is, that's pretty good advice, right? <laughs> Third question and final question today's Q&A is from Alex Ochoa and he asked, if you could tell yourself something from five years ago that could help you today, what would it be? So five years ago, I was in 10th grade. I would say start the gym right now and start YouTube right now. I wish I would have started YouTube way long ago because if I was starting YouTube from way like back then, I would have close to a thousand videos if I kept up with the pace that I have right now. I would have close to a thousand videos and I assume I would have a way bigger audience. And I know back then YouTube was a lot more lenient on their, uh, when you say bad words, so like that, like they were a lot more lenient. So I think the algorithm would have been in my favor since I'm really dedicated and I would have worked hard. Especially since in, in high school and my first year of college, like I had no direction. Like I, well, my first year of college when I started YouTube, but I can say high school, I had no direction. Like I didn't know where I wanted to, where I wanted to go with my life, what I wanted to do, or anything like that. So I would tell myself, start YouTube now, follow your dreams, go to the gym. You have a membership, and wait for Bradley Martin to open Zoo Culture in 2017. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, again, guys, thank you so much for sending these questions today. I appreciate you guys for sending the questions. Please, guys, remember to send your questions in if you guys want to have them answered. Whatever question you guys have, let me know. If you guys want to see my bullying video, also let me know because I will do that video and I will release that video. And yeah, uh, what else do you guys want to know about me? Oh, thank you guys for supporting my physique update. I appreciate that. Expect the physique update every Friday or Thursday. So that's always going to go up. And uh, that's it for today's video, guys. I appreciate the support. Leave a like at the video. Leave a dislike if you like the video. Leave a comment if you have any questions, have any suggestions. Hit the bell to be notified with all of my latest content. And please subscribe if you want to be part of the FGF squad. Or I, used to, I used to call it the FGF club. I, if you guys like our old school subs, you guys know about this. I used to go, if you're not part of the FGF club, wait, and if you don't subscribe, what the hell, I used to say something. If you don't subscribe, then you're not part of the, wait, and if you subscribe, then you're part of the FGF club and that's fuck, fuck, fuck for life. And that used to be a Bullet Club thing. Um, if you guys watch like in New Japan Pro Wrestling, that's something that I, that's the Bullet Club. And if you ever see, my, see more, me wearing those shirts, that's a Bullet Club type thing. So if you guys remember that, leave a like right now. Let me know if you guys are old school subs. Comment right now what you guys want to know about me. I answer every single question. As personal as it is, I'll answer every question. And your question pops up on screen. What's better than that? I don't know. Food? Probably. All right, guys. Peace out.